Hello viewers. Vaginal problems are some of the most common reasons why women go to the doctor. It's common for women to experience vaginal issues on an occasional basis. There are different types of vaginal problems that can arise throughout a woman's life. Keep watching and learn more about each of the common vaginal diseases and infections. Vaginitis is a blanket term that refers to an inflamed vagina. Normally there is a healthy balance of bacteria and yeast in the vagina. However, when this natural harmony is disrupted a woman experiences discomfort and an unusual odor. Vaginitis can have several different causes. Sometimes a yeast infection sets off inflammation. Other times, the use of new products like soaps or even new fabrics in the lining of undergarments can cause the vagina to react abnormally. Bacterial vaginosis occurs when bacteria build up in the vagina. Since maintaining balance is critical for the vagina, bacterial vaginosis results in unusual discharge, itching or pain in the vagina, and a strong fishy smell that is especially prominent following sexual intercourse. Although the cause is not well understood by researchers, it does appear women who are sexually active are more likely to get bacterial vaginosis. Yeast infections are fungal infections that result in discharge, irritation, and an extremely uncomfortable itching sensation on the vulva and vagina. Resuming with sexual activity after a period of abstinence may contribute to yeast infections and there is some evidence that alludes to oral sex being a contributor as well. Yeast infections are not considered to be a sexually transmitted disease. Causes for yeast infections may include uncontrolled diabetes, oral contraceptives, and even pregnancy. Trichomoniasis is caused by a parasitical infection. Symptoms include redness and soreness along with itching and burning sensations. Symptoms vary from person to person and may also include discomfort when urinating and a shift in discharge and vaginal odor. Trichomoniasis is a sexually transmitted disease. Human papillomavirus or HPV is an infection that results in warts on the genitals or on the skin around the genitals, depending on the type of strain that has been contracted. There is no known cure for HPV, and many can carry this infection without any signs or symptoms. HPV is the most common sexually transmitted infection. Some forms of HPV are preventable through vaccination. Genital herpes is a common sexually transmitted disease. Genital herpes is caused by two viruses, HSV-1 and HSV-2. Many people who contract genital herpes don't experience any symptoms at all. However, some people develop herpes sores around their genitals, rectum, or their mouth. Gonorrhea most commonly affects the urethra and rectum. Sometimes the throat and cervix are affected as well. Symptoms of gonorrhea include excessive vaginal discharge, pain while urinating, unusual vaginal bleeding, and pelvic pain. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease. When contracted, this sexually transmitted disease is treated with antibiotics. So long as medication is taken as instructed, gonorrhea can be cured. However, if the disease has left permanent damage, the treatment does not reverse any of those effects. Chlamydia is a sexually transmitted disease and most commonly diagnosed in young women. Most people who contract chlamydia don't experience symptoms, however, those who do may notice abnormal vaginal discharge and burning while urinating. Chlamydia can also affect the rectum, which results in discharge, bleeding, and rectal pain. Vulvodynia is a chronic condition that results in pain around the opening of the vagina. Symptoms can be so extreme that simple activities, like sitting for too long in one position, exacerbate the discomfort experienced. Atrophic vaginitis is a condition that occurs when your body produces less estrogen, usually after menopause. It results in drying, thinning, and inflammation of a woman's vaginal walls. Symptoms may include vaginal dryness, burning sensation when urinating, slight bleeding following intercourse, and genital itching. It cannot be transmitted to a sexual partner, though it may affect a woman's sexual experience. 
Incorporation of a sexual lubricant can ease the discomfort associated with vaginal dryness. Do you have any symptoms for the vaginal problems listed above? Comment your experience below to help other women who may be experiencing something similar.